A common request from clients is to add individual names or numbers to every item that you engrave. Now, if you were to do this manually, it can be kind of a pain, as well as it leads to the possibility of errors during transcription. What I'm gonna to demonstrate today is how to set up an Excel file so that you can import the data into your laser engraving software. This will allow you to change names or numbers or any text object automatically. Okay, so to prepare a file for engraving, we're gonna jump over into Excel here. Now there's a couple things that we're gonna to need to keep in mind as we set up our file. The first row is gonna be the names of the columns. We aren't gonna be able to access that data. So here we're gonna type name, and in column B, we're gonna type gift. And now we can fill in the data. Now this could be copied and pasted from another spreadsheet. This could be copied and pasted from a Word file. However you choose to get this data in there, it doesn't really matter. All that matters is that each column represents the data that's available and the first row will be the name of that column. So we're gonna add some data in here. All right, now that we have our data populated, we're ready to save this. Important thing to remember is we have to go save as, and we need to save this as an XLS file because if we save it as an XLSX file, which is the native Excel workbook, it won't work. So we're gonna to have to come down and we're gonna to have to choose this Excel 97 to 2003 XLS. Then we can choose the file name and save it however we like. All right, we're gonna jump over into EasyCAD here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by making a text object and we're gonna click on this little button here below text object that says enable variable text. If we don't see the entire menu here, we might have to drag this up a little bit. And we're gonna hit add. Now, with our text object selected, all we're gonna have to do is come down here to file and choose Excel. Now you can see that there's a whole bunch of different options here as well. We're gonna choose Excel file and we're just gonna go on the desktop and we're gonna hit grab GIFs. Now, what we can notice here is that that field name, we can choose from one of those row headers. So we can choose name or we can choose gift. For the first one, we're gonna choose name. So we see that our first row is Alex. Now what we can do is we can copy and paste that right below. And um, when we have the second one selected, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna go modify. And now we can select gift. So now we see that we have name and gift. We can add a hatch. And one of the cool things about this is that when we add a hatch on here, it's gonna actually remember that hatch. So as it cycles through all the names and different fields that we have, it's gonna remember what we have on there. And that will also work mark as well as things like project mark as well. So we can see that we have Alex and lasers and we have those both hatched. Now a couple of important tips I can give you here is that we wanna make sure that when we select our fonts that they're center justified. Otherwise, they're gonna hop around in horizontal space so they won't have the same X value as the names change in length. Another important thing to remember is that we want to use the center point as well. So we wanna have that, that center reference position. So now if I say that is at X zero and this is at X zero, they should stay in the same position as it cycles through. Now let's say that we wanna see what was on a different row. Now, unfortunately, if we click on this, if we hit this previous and next, it doesn't really do anything. So it doesn't actually advance through the file. That would actually be a nice little feature, but it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to click on modify. And if we go to here to line number, we can see that if we change that to, let's say six, hit okay, it's Tyler. We're gonna click on lasers. We're gonna choose that file there. We're gonna click modify, and we're gonna change this to line six as well. So now we can see that Tyler wants a tank. That's really all there is to show you here. Let's jump over to the fiber and see this in action. Okay, so here we are over at the fiber laser and I just wanna give you one more little tip. So when we go to hatch these, you'll notice that we have the two text objects. When we hatch, if we wanna be able to edit these individually, we wanna make sure we go hatch one by one. So we select hatch one by one and we'll notice that there's still two text objects. If we don't select hatch one by one, 
we'll notice that we just get one hash and we lose the ability to edit the text. One last thing I'd like to do when I'm engraving these is I like to use continue mode. What continue mode does is it allows me to light and it's gonna allow me to just hit the enter key to do my mark. And then we're gonna be able to see on the screen every time that we mark, it's going to change the text. So here we go. And now we have that preview box. So when we place in the new item, we can actually see where it's going to engrave as well. Hit enter. So there you have it, it's on auto reset, so it's going all the way back around to the first engraving. Well, there you have it. It's pretty simple to import data into your laser engraving software so that it can automatically change with every item that you engrave. This service is something that customers really enjoy and it can add to more profits for yourself. If you'd like to learn more about laser engraving and join a wonderful Discord community, head on over to the Laser Everything Discord server. When you're ready to take your engraving to the next level, you can also consider joining the Laser Masters Academy at masters.lasereverything.net. Till next time, happy engraving.